Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Codes Nest. Hope you are enjoying my videos. If you have still not seen these nine videos, I request you to please see them and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you are already aware, we have covered very important topics in Scratch. We have covered in the last topic 3D ray casting, we covered trigonometric functions, some mathematical concepts, some physics concepts. So we learned how to create custom blocks, how to create some variables. So similarly, today we are going to learn a relatively easy concept using some custom blocks, some variables and some physics and simple mathematical concepts. It's very easy and hope you are going to enjoy it also. So let us start. This name of the project today is basically a platform game. So we, we have named it as platform play. Let's start. So let us start. First of all, we are going to paint a sprite and paint our backdrop. For that purpose, we are not going to use this cat sprite. We are going to delete it and then select paint a sprite. So then we'll little magnify our this screen. So we are able to use these pixels. So now we'll use some color. Let us say we choose a green color. So for that purpose, we choose a color number 30 and saturation 100 and brightness 100. And okay, so let us draw it. So we'll choose. So we'll choose, we'll select it first of all. We are going to use rectangle. So rectangle is I think that will be, that looks good. Yes, looks good. So we are going to now place it at the center. Now it is centered position. After this, we are going to remove this outline and use circle and then we will use fill as white and after that we are going to draw a circle here and similarly we are going to draw a circle here we will center it okay so now we will draw one more circle this time we will choose a color of black so we are choosing color black, circle is there, so we are choosing it, control C, control V or we can again draw a circle, okay, center it, now we are going to create one more, I will draw a line here and then we are going to use a reshaping tool and then we are going to draw it and we will now may, uh, to make it smiling we will use uh, we will draw use line again we will little make it smiling okay so it is our paint sprite is done now we will shift to paint a we will name before that we will name this as player And we'll know, name this costume as, also as player. Okay. So now we'll shift over to paint a backdrop. So for that we will select paint this backdrop option. And now what we are going to use? We are going to use it some color for our backdrop. So for backdrop we are going to draw a platform. Okay. For that platform we'll name it as a platform. And we'll remove this backdrop one. Okay, now we have platform backdrop. So, and now we are going to choose some color. So for that purpose, we'll remove this outline as zero and use the rectangle here. And we'll zero and choose fill color as some appropriate color we can use. Say we choose this color. Okay. So let us start. 
choosing our color. Okay. Now we'll, we'll draw some stairs also. So we'll draw control C and control V. So we'll again, we'll use control C, control V and drag it to center it. Okay, control C and control V, we drag it like this. So I think now we're this is complete and we I think this is okay it's also okay so now we'll again control c and control v now we'll drag it so that it can jump over here also okay. so this is like this for a moment now this our uh, both the backdrop and this is complete we can name if we want some little fun we can name this also our scene so for example say we can use text here and we can use some different some color here then we use some color here and we want to name it so we name it as codes nest it's my name so we uh, write in capital okay so player is moving in the Field of codes nest okay so this our this part is so now let us write some code in this code we are going to select our player and go select this code option and after in this code what we are going to do first of all we are going to select when the green flag is clicked when the green flag is clicked what we want that player should move to our desired position what is our desire for example say we start from here okay then what we'll do we'll go to the motion block and go to x and y position like this and what next we are going to do we are going to create a forever loop okay so forever loop will create so what we want we want now player is there platform is here and player should move it should move down okay for that purpose we will select here and change y by minus 1 so now we'll go to motion block change y we'll drag this into forever loop and write change y by minus 1 okay so let us now test it what happens so when green flag is clicked Oh, that's moving. So, what is the issue now? See, it like it's moving, but there is not uh, much faster movement. Moreover, it is again passing through the walls. So, now let us do something about this. First of all, we are going to do something about its speed because it's very, very slow. For that purpose, we are going to create a variable and name of the variable is let's name this variable as speed and we'll make for this sprite only and click ok and after this speed what we are going to you do so let's let's name it because there is a direction so we'll name it as it because it is xy uh, position let's say we name it as speed y so in this speed y, uh, what we are going to do is first of all, uh, to start with, we are going to set our speed as zero. So we'll select from here our speed y as zero. So that is movement in y direction is controlled by this variable. Next thing what we are going to do that we are again use the change my variable by minus one. So we are going to do it like minus one and we'll going to use speed y so now that is also done but what is the issue here 
because we have changed change y by minus 1. Now, this minus 1 has been replaced by our speed y. So, this is okay. So, what this whole code does, see, now every time this player moves downwards, right, they will now move little faster and then earlier. So, let us now test it. If there is change, see, <laughs> see, this is so fast. Okay, so I really enjoying. Now let us do something about it. So this this part is done. Our player continues to fall down. So it should not fall down. As soon as it touches our this ground, it should stop. Okay. So what we can do for that? So we can use a if loop. So we'll use if loop here. If then. So what where we use? We'll use here if then okay so if it touches so we'll use sensing block here so if it touches this color so we we'll just touches this color so if it, to choose the color of same we'll select this uh, color and here see at the bottom there is a color picker so we'll select it and we'll choose this color of our ground where it is going to touch okay see it is now selected so if it touches the ground the color this color then what should happen it should stop everything okay so we'll go to uh, events and we'll go to control and it will stop all okay so when we'll select this stop all what will happen is let's it will now do not pass through the walls okay it is stopping here so what is the problem here and can you tell so because it is touching the ground but it is still some overlapping is there with the ground okay so now how we can correct that what we are going to do for that we are going to change our y okay for that purpose we'll choose change y and change y will drag here before we stop our script so change y what we want we want that this speed this speed the by this speed it, uh, it is coming down it should be repulsed so we'll use a logical operator also here minus uh, negative this uh, subtraction logical operator and here we'll place it in change y in the right side we'll place a variable choose speed y and left side we will use zero so let us now test it if it works yes it is now not touching okay so, but still we have to improve it so now we'll check it in an incremental way so that whenever it incrementally we when it falls down and goes back so we'll place a command when if it is not touching the color that will repeat this block until not touching this ground and when if it is not touching the ground what we want by that time we will change the y by 1 so it is not pushed out okay and after that we will put our speed to 0 so let us go into our coding and we will we drag this stop all button and we use uh, we use repeat button repeat until so okay so we'll use this repeat until button and tell me where we will place it so i will place it at our if block okay so we'll change y is down okay we'll use a repeat until uh, here so now see this change uh, block this change y by zero right so what we want by change y by zero okay so we want when, when this color touching is is not touching our ground so change y by minus 1 so we'll snap it and change we will put as change by minus 1 or plus 1 plus 1 because it's reverse direction we'll use plus 1 okay. so change y by 1 because it is moving from ground towards upside once it falls down it should move upwards so we'll change y by 1 so 
we want it should change y by 1 and after that our speed should be set to 0. So, where we should place it after this block. So, we will select our speed y to 0. So, now what we are missing? We are missing if it is not touching. So, we will use go to operator and use this not block and then we will again drag it out and duplicate it and now place it here and we'll place it back over here. So shall we uh, test our code? What happens now? Yes, you are able to see it goes down and it due to our speed uh, code it goes up until it touches the ground. So I am really uh, it's wonderful amazing. Our code is working. You want to see again? See, it goes down and now it rests on ground. When we press the green flag, it is going. But what is happening? We are able to see that it goes down, crosses the ground, and then comes back. We do not want this to be visible. See once again, it goes down and again goes back to ground. So we do not want this to happen. For that purpose, what we are going to create that we are to going to fix this overlap. For that purpose, we are going to create a custom block, make a block and we will name it as fix overlap. Okay. And now we are going to use run without screen refresh. Okay. So this is fix overlap and now we will drag it here. So what we are going to use now? So whatever our command which was working, so we will this will repeat everything we will just put it here. So and what we are going to do that here we are going to use command as fix overlap. So what this will do? Okay. So uh, see what is happening? We have clear uh, th this overlapping we have created a function. So until it, it fixes. Okay. So and this fixes like a very fast so that why we are not able to see this change. So, will you be able, do you want to see it now? Let's see. See, we are not able to see that overlap now. See once again, yes, this problem is now fixed. I am really loving it, it's happening. Okay. So, our player is now doing fantastic. So, this is done. So, this we are unable to control this movement. So, for this purpose to change this movement speed and this uh, falling value, we can create a new variable called gravity. So, this gravity will what we will do? We will create a new variable called gravity. So, we will go to my variables and make a variable. So, this will be gravity and we will make for all sprites. Okay. This gravity is clear, um, made. Now what we will do? First of all, we will create set gravity here as minus 1. And then what we are going to do next? So we are going to create a if block, if block we are going to is do, do use in forever loop. So we'll use here if block and like this. Okay. So if block we are going to use here. So if we are going to what we are going to do next? So that we are going to now speed should not be changed by minus one because we are not going to remember this by minus one. We'll just change the gravity and our speed will change. So we'll change this speed variable. Okay. So this gravity will put it here. So we have done here minus one and then what we next we want? We want now that when this key, this movement, this player movement, for example, it moves in up direction. So what we want when this key is pressed, okay. So we will see this key is pressed if, which key is pressed? Say for up key is pressed, okay. When up arrow we uh, press up arrow, then what should happen? We will say 
well, it should increase its speed. Okay, so we'll go to our variable and select here our speed and say we make it a random. Let us say set speed y by twelve, and we'll put it here. So what it happens now? Whenever our up arrow key is pressed, it will set the speed y to twelve, and further our this whole function this is changed now earlier we were changing speed y by minus 1 now we do not need to remember we have created a gravity function so we can change from here so let's now run the project okay so when the green flag is clicked so it goes down now we'll use up arrow i'm going to use up arrow see so it's it's moving it's wonderful i am enjoying it okay so our this player movement has started platform okay so now this is uh, this part I really enjoy it. So now see our movement has started. So now we are go we are going to check for other movements right and left. So we'll create another variable. We'll go to another loop if loop. So we'll place it here. So this is working. So first of all, we have to stop this script, and then now we'll use it here. So it is not. Uh, okay. Place it here. It's moving. Uh, not moving. Okay. It will move. Not okay. Let me do something. I will place it here and then move it back. Okay. So, but I, I let me do one thing more. I have to create one more if loop. Okay. So now I can put it back. So now what will I do? I will use when go to the sensing block and again use when key is pressed. And again, I will use when key is pressed. So first of all, I will use when this left arrow key is pressed, and then next I will select when right arrow key is pressed. Now, to facilitate this movement, what I am going to do is I am going to create a variable for x position. So I will name that variable as speed x. So for this sprite only and create it so this speed x i have created it you know what what i am going to use see so if when left key is pressed so when what we want i want to change the speed speed x so when left is pressed what uh, the speed should be in minus so let me for example say minus 1.5 so minus 1. Point five so i will drag this block for left arrow similarly i have for example the same uh, block i can duplicate and place it over here and this i can place over here and for right key i will press 1.5 plus 1.5 okay so this is done now next what what i want to do can anybody tell yes because see uh, here now it will not move the our sprite so to move our sprite what we are going to do that this this is changing y by speed y so we want change x by speed x okay so we'll change x we'll give go to motion and change x we'll drag this block I place it over before y and now here we'll place go to variable and here we'll place speed x okay so are we ready to test our code okay let's see let's go to full screen and press it so let's see 
Oh yeah, it's moving, but it's moving so fast. Okay, so it's moving so fast. So we have to. Ha! It's so so fast. We have to little bit see how we can check it. What is happening is see this whenever we give uh, click the green flag. See this is very fast. Okay, so it is uncontrollable. So to set it right. Is very easy. What we are going to do? We are going to here. We we are see we are uh, what we are doing here. We are using a command set speed x. Okay, so speed x is there. Okay, so we are going to create the set speed x before changing the speed y by gravity. So how can we do do that? We are we use here say set speed x. Drag this here. What speed we want to do with the speed x? We want that whatever speed it is, it should slow down. How it can slow down? We'll multiply speed x by a partial number, is fraction. So what? How we can do that? We'll use logical operator of multiplication. We'll drag this multiplication operator, and here we'll go to variables, and again use speed x, and multiplied by say zero point eight. So it will slow it down, and where we'll put this block? We'll put this block before changing our x position. So shall we? Are you ready to check the code? Okay, let's press the green flag. See now it's controllable. So our project is now when we give let's press the green flag. So we have. What is happening? See here, we are unable to control it properly, and collision is still not proper. Whenever it see when it touches vertical wall, it goes still out of control. So what we can do for this purpose? We want how we can do it? Uh, correct it instead of like moving like this and gliding. We can place a check. to move it in steps okay so let's write some code for that purpose we'll first of all create a new block make a block and name it as move in steps okay so move in steps so after this what we want so it will move in steps and then we want that we will create an Input and run with screen fresh and input will be steps. Okay, so we have created this. So now, but we are going to will place it over here. Okay, so now next what we are going to do? We have to remove this. And before we remove this blocks from below, what we are going to do? We are going to add a control loop. Control loop in control loop. What we are going to do? We'll put a repeat. Repeat of until how many not steps? We'll use steps from here. Repeat until steps. What we want to repeat? So we want to repeat that it should be this vertical position divided by this y position speed divided by number of steps. So, okay. So we'll just drag this from here. So change y. This is like okay. So now we'll use this change y here. We'll remove this x overlap here and put it like here. Okay. So here instead of y, what we want a logical operator will put put over here. So we'll go to logical operator and logical operator will use division operator. So we'll use this. Speed y. So we'll have this speed y. Change y by. We'll put speed y here. And speed y divided by number of steps. We'll put it here. So we have defined now moving steps. What we want? Then now what we want? That when it touches the color, so it should go to last value. So, but for last value, 
first of all we have to set the last value and after that we have to go to uh, if it touches the color it go to last value so for that purpose we will create a variable and make that variable name as last value okay so then we have created okay so this we have created last value and last value will go to so what we want to do with last value so we want that whenever this uh, moving block it uh, if this touches this color then it should set the y value to its last value so set we'll drag set y and here we'll go to variable and go to last value now before using this last value we will be setting this last value so we will set this last value instead of select last value and drag this last value to after repeat number of steps okay so it will repeat set the value and it will check the y if this touches this our color then it will again set y position to its last value so we have done it now is there anything left can i would tell so now this speed speed is there right so this speed we will also use it this speed okay so this speed is required so after this is has set to last value y position so y speed will be zero now this collision and this control this our sprite will be under control okay so before that we will just hide these all variables so our screen is visible properly okay so we are able to hide hide all this variables and now is there anything left so there is nothing left so we will just throw this blocks away okay so for first of all we'll fix this overlap also we'll throw this and now we'll throw this okay so this is done so do you want to test our code yes or no okay let's now test our code in full screen that's green flag is clicked yes so now what it is working but what is happening although it is under control fully so there is some issue so that see this is like this is passing through exact this position see what what we can see this right key left key and up key okay so this is uh, y position so this we will check this y position is last value is to zero and see what is happening why is not working last value is zero so this is not so what we can do is change this last value to y position go to variables and go to motion there is y position so last value to y position okay so this is now done so let's now start again see now this is uh, working little so what is what where is difference can anyone tell so this is we have done this y position is done we this is not, not working why is not working can anyone tell yes so we have not used my block so we have to put it in my blocks because it will this script will function only when it is used somewhere so we will say randomly we will place a value of 100 okay so let's now go to full screen if it's working yeah it's now working see so amazing so amazing and let's see if it's working here yes so it's now now we have to approve yeah ha, it's doing fantastic okay so it's working it's working here so it's now what is happening it is sticking to the walls so we have to improve further but still but it's still it's working very wonderful everything is under control that's good so let's now improve further move in steps this is 100 this number is not 
properly working. We have still some problem is sticking to walls. And so what we can do here is we can use a absolute value of our speed y. For that purpose, we can go uh, select logical operator and use absolute value. So we'll move replace this 100 num, uh, move in step by absolute value of we'll use here speed y. Our, we have created a variable of y. So we'll drag that absolute value of speed y here. Okay, so this is done. So now uh, let's test if some uh, some tangible thing has changed. See, yes, now okay. see now it's not sticking. Yes, it's not sticking. So it's good done. So we can so now horizontal position is there and vertical position is there. Now we'll improve further for our this see this still this these issues there. <laughs> So although it is not sticking, but when it go it crosses some level, then it is again gets stuck. Okay. So now our uh, lot of bugs have been removed. So now we'll improve it further. How will that improve that further? It's player movement. See this X position. We have to improve it. Collision. We have to improve it. So Y Y is very much improved. We have to improve further. So for that purpose, to improve our X position. So we have y is okay. See, y is not colliding, but x is moving for, further in one direction. So what we are going to first, we have to stop this script, and then we have to drag this out, and then what we are going to do? So we will go here and again we'll set this value here, and now instead of this will again use variable uh, last value. Okay, so instead of this, uh, where we are using y position, we will use x position. So we'll go to x position. We we'll drag that x position from here. Okay, so now it is identical. So now we'll change y. We'll uh, select change y by. We'll drag this later, and then change y by speed uh, change why you have already used we now to use sorry word change x so we'll use change x okay change x by speed x divided by steps so we'll just go to variables and this is our speed x and we have to use logical operator division logical operator okay so we'll use speed x here divided by steps now now we have to use if touching color again we can duplicate it duplicate it is not it's not required it's not duplicating we want to duplicate if touching color okay so this we want to duplicate it so duplicate it here we place it and here i will join it back okay so we'll we want to use here if touching color okay so we'll remove it back and we'll drag it here so if it is touching so if it touching color then we want set x we snap it and we want to use here set x2 so for that we'll go to motion and drag set x2 again set x2 again to last value okay, so set x2 we'll what we'll do use set x2 last value so that is okay so why is why our y is done set x2 last value for last value we'll go to variable this is our last value. Now, what is last? Set last is set speed x to zero. So we'll drag here speed x. So set speed x to zero. I think this is now complete. This x part is complete. Speed x to zero and all this y position. So now we'll join this script. So we have to make sure 
that these loops are separate is if block and this if block are separate so if see in this if if it is touching color the set exposition this is separate and then this if block is separate okay so we have separated them so now so we what what else we can do is we can improve the collision we have used absolute value of y speed so we want if, uh, to use the x speed also for that purpose we will use logical operator and uh, for adding both the speed of x part and y part what we'll do we'll duplicate it and instead of speed y we'll use speed x okay so we'll speed x speed x we'll use put and then we'll use put speed y absolute of speed y then we'll put this in so now we'll drag this and put here okay so are we ready to test our code now see when we press this green flag so some issues which we were facing earlier are still working so this is a very simple thing we ignored see we are still using x position by, uh, this by speed x so this we have to move this block we have to drag this out and snap it so let's now see test this code yes it's fantastic so this see can you see this is now we can you can enjoy it now this is wonderful yes yes is really working this yes, yes it's really wonderful yes this yes, it's working it's working working yes we can move here we can move here we can go to all the positions and our prototype is fully working yes now there is no collision there is nothing so we can move to any position where we want okay so wherever it gets the position it is not struck anywhere so hope you are enjoying it it's really wonderful i really enjoyed this to facilitate the future upgradations we have to incorporate some of the changes for example we want to test how the falling or jumping takes place for that purpose for now we just remember that we are creating a variable to test our falling so we'll name that variable as falling so just bear in mind that these variables we we used when we make further upgraded projects so now we'll upgrade uh, just create this variable called falling and now so this falling what we will do we'll change this falling by one in we'll use this in move in steps okay so change falling by one okay so when it falls and then what we'll do and when it it is at uh, y position it goes to zero set y will set falling to also to zero okay let's test it see when it touches the ground we'll go to full screen now see when it touches the ground it is zero it goes up variable is increasing in y direction and when it touches the ground it is zero we have now incorporated to test the falling how the falling takes place okay so these all this whatever little little functions we are uh, now doing this will help us when we upgrade our project we have created some uh, basic concept of uh, for checking the jumping now we have to incorporate some co uh, code regarding this falling and control of the jump so what we can do here we can first of all stop the script and use if then block and we'll because see we want to control the up down moment so we'll go for up key up arrow key right so up arrow key and we'll drag this y set y to 12 under this if block it is nested if first if then inside it there is next if block 
so what we'll do here is a logical operator of less than okay so what we are going to test here we are going to test here falling so what is falling over this is variable falling and we say we will use it as 3 okay so we are going to use that 3 so it's a number small number so we have tested so see now if we run this project what happens so we are able to <laughs> limit the jumping see they are not going to jump and jump in the sky we will see now in full screen it we'll see it in full screen right see we are able to control the jumping we are in much in control so our design is going a level up okay so we are not like moving up and up in the sky right so we can control the jumping okay so this is like this so we are able to do that okay so now we'll just remove this go to down and we can reduce this this uh, player size also so to say 60 so what will happen is we'll now go to full screen by moving see we are able to jump still jump and okay now we are going to move th through these blocks also okay so we, we have now facilitated the movement through this this passage so now what we are going to do next can anybody tell so this is this is a wonderful thing that we have now incorporated jump control that how much height we will be able to jump is controlled now okay so this is see so now is, is, if, we, if we change this value then it will also change so yes. can anybody tell what is the issue still pending here in our wonder yes it is sticking here okay so otherwise it is okay but only thing is when we press the up arrow key and gets yes struck so how we can change it so we first for that purpose we have to first of all stop script and go to this falling block and we have to uh, uh, interchange these blocks and before interchanging we will have a if block here we we'll, uh, add one if block so we will use it if block here and then we will what we are going to do so we are going to use it here okay so if block we are adding here to, to check our falling to zero so what we are going to use here so set falling to zero if we, what we are going to check here so we are going to add a logical operator so we will add here logical operator so that when it is uh, what condition we are going to check that when our speed in the direction of y is less than zero so means when it collides see when why why i am saying is see just see i am again running the code you can see full screen i will sh show you see when this position y this speed is zero in this y position then what should happen then i have added this code so that let me say, first of all stop the script so when the this y, speed in y direction so i will add the speed in y direction is zero then it will set the falling to zero so that now let us it is now testing time okay so let me test it again so what happens so let me run the code here so it's working we oh, yeah. are see see now it is not sticking even though i am pressing i am keeping it pressed and falling is you can check on this falling variable this varying so this is wonderful our this player movement has advanced to a next level see it's not sticking i can move around here and there so this is wonderful we are able to create a lot of jumping so one point i want to just consider see the jumping is limited so if we want to control the jumping we want to jump more high higher than this so how we can do that for that purpose we can add a new variable make a variable and let's say name as 
jump force okay so we'll create it for all sprites so we have created jump force so now what this variable will do so we'll just before uh, starting we'll write here as jump force as a value so we'll set it we'll select here from jump force and then drag this block okay here so let's say we initially we set it to value of 12 and then we drag this jump force to the speed of value 12 so this 12 12 is matching so earlier it was jumping by 12 so now it is being controlled by jump force so for example let's say now we put it a value of 25 and let's see how it works in full screen so when i press the up carry up arrow key and press is green so see it's able to jump so high so <laughs> i am able to control the jumping so let's say reduce it to say 18 so now again go to full screen and see again jump so this is wonderful so now i am able to control as i i as i want so let's say i increase it to 14 so so now it let's see see now i am able to control it higher less so i by changing this jump force variable see i am able to control the jumping mechanism so let me keep it as 15 and run it in full screen see so i am in full control now so we were making a basic concept so that it can be upgraded to any of the project in future so we have controlled upward movement downward movement. so we want to now control horizontal exposition movement so what we can do for that we can create one more variable so let because in x direction when speed increases continuously then what we call when our vehicle increases in speed it's we call it as acceleration so we'll name that variable as acceleration okay so this is for x direction so now this acceleration so see this speed is generally 1.5 and minus 1.5 so we'll first of all set acceleration to 1.5 and place it over here so we have placed uh, acceleration to 1.5 so let's now see uh, here so change speed by right arrow we can just because it is 1.5 same as we have using here so we can just drag acceleration here so it will be one point uh, adjusted to 1.5 here and for because minus 1.5 so we will use logical operator here to drag here and we will write here 0 minus acceleration so acceleration will go to variables and drag that acceleration here so it is done so we have completed this acceleration part also so we have created here gravity jump force acceleration and speed y this we can change according to our requirement so see this how we can uh, like create uh, this variables we have uh, see we have created these variables using make, uh, make variable option and using these variables at respective positions so now we will do one thing more see when what happened when we were changing in x direction so that its speed was able we were able it was so fast we were able to reduce the speed how we were able to reduce that speed if you remember we use this block see this speed x we multiplied speed x by 0 0.8 so if you want to say control this also in future so for our future projects will create one more variable and name that variable as resistance and this for all sprites and again we'll set this resistance okay resistance so we'll direct and drag this and set resistance to zero and we'll again drag this to our variable list set resistance to 
Now what value you will put here? Initial is whatever is mentioned here 0 0.8. So we will put here at 0 0.8. Okay. So this is 0 0.8 here. So we will just then go back to there. And here we will add resistance. So now see this four are visible. Falling is visible, jump is visible, right? So this jump force is visible, acceleration is visible, resistance is visible. Okay. We want to show gravity and speed by that we also can show here. So my main thing is that these variables we can change according to the customization requirement of, of our future projects. Please remember, please I am again stressing, please note, we have created these custom variables so that just by using this, we can this uh, by changing the gravity, changing the jump force, changing the acceleration, changing the resistance and changing the speed y, we can customize this our basic concept to future projects. Okay. So let's now see it in the full screen for the final time. Hold your breath. I think our this first this uh, basic concept is now complete. So okay, so it's working. So that's wonderful. Not sticking. It's in, I'm enjoying it's now. Everything you know, I'm able to control it. This is wonderful. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this uh, wonderful video. Hope you enjoyed it. So this video, we learned basic concepts about platform play. So you can create future projects based on this basic projects. You can upgrade this project. How you can upgrade? You can create more levels. You can create more obstacles. You can create enemy blocks. You can create different types of moving obstacles and use different customization of costumes of a player. Even you can use cat sprite in different costumes. So it can glide the wall, it can jump the walls and you can keep scores also and you can collect the objects in different ma in a maze also. So there are one unlimited number of possibilities to expand this basic project and I thank you very much. Thank you very very much.